But millions in Indonesia are also suffering from the raging forest fires. The fires are in parts of Sumatra, Java and the Indonesian part of Borneo this dry season. The city of Pekanbaru in Riau province has been covered in haze for the past month. Visibility levels have dropped substantially and we went to Pekanbaru to see the impact on the locals. For seven years, 48-year-old farmer Herman has been working this land handed down to him by his father. The haze has been a constant in that time, but nothing like what he's seeing this year. Herman says he's been coughing very badly with blood on some occasions, but he's most worried about his five children, especially his daughter, who's not even a month old. Severe haze has enveloped Pakanbaru. Schools have been closed and the airport shut down several times. Asia Pulp and Paper, or APP, is one of the largest companies of its kind in the world. It's been accused of using slash and burn methods, but it says it's been trying for the last four years to educate farmers to learn from past mistakes. APP's fire management team says the company has used satellite images, thermal cameras and lookouts from fire towers. It says it aims to deploy teams within an hour of a fire being spotted. Econusa Indonesia is a local environmental group focusing on the country's natural resources. It says firefighting alone does not address the root of the problem. The NGO CEO says poor farmers still use slash and burn because it's simple and cheap. And he says the vast tracts of land add to the challenge of dealing with fires.